Okay, well, let's go ahead and do another video, why don't we? This time it's going to be kind of a little quick tutorial on cooking, and we are actually going to be grinding some sugar today. Now, usually I personally use the website to look up the recipes, but I know a lot of people like to use the DFS bot for it, so we're going to do that today. Um, if you haven't yet, you can sit here and I am the bot, or even in just the regular DFS chat group, type in hashtag add me, no spaces, and it will, the, the bot will send you a friend request. Go ahead and accept it. That way it's easier to find the bot. Um, if you don't want to spam the group with um, your codes for looking up different recipes or options for certain ingredients, but we'll go more in depth than that with a different video. This For this one, we are going to look up the recipe for sugar. So we are going to type in hashtag recipe space S-U-G-A-R and hit enter. If you take a look, that will, you see it there, and he brings up what the recipe for sugar is. Now as you can take a look, we are going to need the mortar and pestle and it says 5 dash DFS sugar cane basket. Now when I first started DFS, I I didn't ask anybody for help with cooking. I didn't look at instructions or anything else. I just dove right in and tried it. And when I saw like the number five, I thought that meant I had to put it on the HUD five times. That is not the way that we do it. The way we do it is five references the number. So if you, right here on the HUD, if you click on craft, it brings up this little nine grid right here. So if, as you see, there's the number five here. So we would click on five and since we are looking for sugar cane, we use the sugar cane basket, click on that. And as you can tell, the five is highlighted red. You wanna make sure it's red before trying to add anything to the hut. So since that five is red, we now click cook from the menu the sugar basket gave us. Now, since that was the last use in the basket, the basket disappears, which makes it easy. You don't have to worry about any cleanup. And as you see, the icon changed. Now what we do is right here we have six mortar and pestles. So we just click on one. In my case we click on it twice. Make sure in your local chat it does say cooking crafting starter with DFS mortar and pestle and it will tell you what it's making. Now a lot of times if you're having an issue with cooking and that or if you did a recipe and it came out as an oopsie or didn't come out quite what you were expecting or something like that people will a lot of times ask you what your HUD said now right here where it says DFS HUD in my case version 2.7.6 and it says slot 5 DFS sugarcane basket that's what it's looking for so right before you send it in it's going to list off everything that's in your HUD so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you what it's going to say in regards to if you make an oopsie. So this, don't do this because I'm purposefully going to make an oopsie. So let's put this on five and let's put it on six as well. So we now know the recipe for sugar, it's only on five. So I have it on five and six. That's what it's going to create what's called an oopsie. But if you take a look right here, you see that it says slot five and has the sugar and then it says slot six and has the sugar so it will always list everything you're doing now when you click on the mortar and pestle in this case it says you know cooking crafting like it did before and then it says recipe not found and then it says making dfs oopsie so i always like to keep the chatter on in local chat just to make sure i'm cooking the right thing now, usually with all your other cooking appliances, you have a time frame in which to collect your items. So say, so since this took a minute to cook, you, ha you usually have a minute. However, with the mortar and pestle, things do not burn. So you don't have to worry about it. If you have to go in the middle of cooking with the mortar and pestle, that's okay. So what we do is we click. It'll tell us ready. So we can 
cook something else in it again and now we just wait for the server to send us our sugar and I will stay on the video while we wait and there it is sometimes if there's a lot of stuff the server is sending it might take a little bit so here is our sugar let's res it out. I'll go ahead and res it out and show you guys see that is what we just made pure sugar cane and let's go ahead and click on this and receive our oopsie if you haven't cooked yet I will show you guys what the oopsie looks like so we're waiting for that to come in and waiting and waiting and waiting alright it should be coming in any moment now <clears throat> excuse me alright well it's taking too long so I already have another oopsie in my inventory so I will pull that out and if you take a look at it while it rises it kinda just looks like a blob and of course it doesn't want to res for me there we go alright so if you take a look it looks kinda like a green soup with onions in the middle and that is what an oopsie is so hopefully this helps anybody who is just who is brand new to cooking um, hopefully this helps to kind of explain how to cook make sure you know like with what the bot says it tells you what tool to use the mortar and pestle there's the stove the oven many things so make sure you're using the right cooking utensil and we will kind of go over the other utensils in further tutorials other than that I think that concludes this tutorial thank you for watching and I hope you at least had a little bit of